Hey everyone, uh, this is a Discrub walkthrough for version 1.11.1. Uh, Discrub is a message manipulation and export tool for Google Chrome, Brave, or any Chromium based browsers. Uh, this extension gives users the ability to bulk edit and delete messages as well as purge and export DMs and servers. Purging is a way that a user can com completely wipe conversations, and exporting gives users the ability to obtain an offline copy of those conversations. Uh, this also includes any attachments or embedded media that may exist, and any avatars or emojis that also exist. Okay, so next I'd like to point out how you can open Discrub once you've installed the extension. Um, so Discrub can be opened by clicking the icon within the Discord web app in the top right of the screen. Alternatively, you can open Discrub by clicking the extension icon itself. All right, um, now let's take a look at guilds and channels. Uh, Discrub will present you with two selection fields, one for your guilds or servers and the other for your channels. Um, you are able to copy the contents of each by clicking the copy icon button on the left side of the respective field. And for DMs, it's very similar to the guilds and channels. Uh, you're presented with a selection field containing all of your active DMs. And you are able to copy this list by clicking the copy icon button on the left side of this field. Now let's take a look at the advanced filtering section. After expanding the section, you're able to specify who you want messages from, uh, the time frame of the messages, the text content of the messages, and the content type of the messages. Uh, this type of search is useful if you're attempting to find messages from a certain user time period or messages that contain certain words or had some sort of file attached. Next is quick filtering. This is for applying fast filters against messages that have already been loaded. Uh, you're able to filter messages here by the start and end time, uh, username, message text content, the attachment name, and threads. You also have the ability to inverse filter, which means that the opposite of any other quick filter that you have applied will be shown. Uh, for example, if you entered a username filter and then toggled the inverse filter, you will see messages from users that do not have that username. Uh, another cool thing that can be done is if you need to copy a user's user ID, uh, you can simply load a message from them and then click their avatar. Uh, this is useful if you need to purge messages from that user. And while reviewing any messages that you may have loaded, uh, you do have the ability to individually view or delete message attachments. If you have messages that you want to edit, you can do so for multiple messages. Um, simply select every message that you wish to update and then click the edit icon button. And then from there, you will type the text that you wish to update the messages to. For bulk deleting messages, you will select any and all messages that you want to remove and then click the delete icon button. From there, you will see an additional dialog asking if you want to delete both message text and attachments. Now, let's take a nice look at the export functionality of Discrub. For exporting a guild, you can make your selection and then select the channels that you want to export. You're also presented with some export options, one for downloading media one for previewing media, and another for the chronological sort direction of the exported messages. You also have the ability to limit the amount of messages that are exported per page. You can then view your downloads folder for the exported zip archive, extract and view. Uh, you'll see folders for each channel, uh, avatars and emojis, and within each channel folder, um, you will see individual media folders containing the downloaded media. Opening the HTML file uh, will show you the messages that were exported. And then you can also load messages first before exporting. Doing this allows you to apply any needed quick filtering or sorting before the export occurs.
Exporting a DM is pretty straightforward as well. First select the DM you wish to export, set your export options, and then export. After extracting and viewing the contents of the export, you will see separate folders for avatars, emojis, and the DM. Opening the HTML file will present you with the exported messages. You are also able to load the DM messages first before exporting so that any relevant quick filtering or sorting can be applied. Okay, let's talk about purging. For a DM, just select the DM that you want to purge, click the purge button, and proceed. This will remove all of your messages from the DM, but keep in mind that this action is permanent, so perhaps you will want to export your messages beforehand. To purge a guild means that all of your messages will be removed from every single channel within the server. Simply select the guild and then click the purge button and proceed. You are also able to paste another user's user ID in the text field within the purge dialog. If you have the proper permissions, this will allow you to easily remove all of another user's messages with the click of a button. Again, this action is permanent, so make sure that you export any messages you want to save beforehand.